Hi, I'm Kim Warren, author of Strategic Management Dynamics from Wiley. This book is different from other strategy textbooks because it focuses exclusively on understanding how organizations perform over time and what management can do to improve that performance. So how does the book achieve this? Well, it puts together some fundamental frameworks that actually explain that question of where performance over time actually comes from and develops those frameworks to provide tools that people can use and that teachers can teach. The way this shows up in how the book explains things is that readers will see diagrams full of time charts showing performance over time and also showing how many of the factors inside the organization are also changing over time. If you want to understand how profits are growing, for example, it's very useful to understand what's happening to the number of customers that a company has and how that number is growing or declining as time goes by. We don't ignore the existing ideas in strategy. We explain those in their own terms, show how they connect to the way organizations' performance changes through time, and then link them to frameworks to show people how to use them. The book doesn't make much use of case studies directly because very few of the case studies available actually include any of the information that you would need to understand performance over time. However, an exception to this is that there are a large number of case studies concerning firms in the airline industry. So what the book does do is it picks up one of those cases and develops the analysis from chapter to chapter to show how the method applies. This should work very well for many teachers because case studies on the airline industry are amongst the most popular in use in business schools throughout the world. The strategy field is just too broad to deal with all of the issues in one go. This first edition deals with strategy questions for single organizations and it's hoped that the second edition will go on to add attention to corporate strategy, issues such as diversification and international expansion. The principles in the book also work very well for non-commercial situations such as public services and not-for-profit organizations. One of the limitations of many existing strategy frameworks is that they are based on analysis of competitive conditions for commercial organizations. In contrast, the frameworks in this book are useful for non-commercial situations, such as public services and not-for-profit organizations. Now, you might be wondering whether you can use this textbook if you're already teaching an established strategy course. Well, the answer to that is yes, you can. There are a couple of places in most strategy courses where this book fits really quite naturally. For example, where you're teaching about how resources affect performance, and also when you want to talk about implementation challenges. The approach in this book might seem a bit technical at first, but actually the underlying frameworks and methods are quite straightforward. They just need a little bit of practice. And there's plenty of learning materials that teachers can use to learn the approach for themselves before they venture in front of a class with it. The book comes with all the usual kinds of supporting materials that a teacher would expect to find. Slides, answers to questions, and so on. In addition, though, because strategy dynamics is all about how performance changes over time, we find that simulation-based materials are extremely valuable for use in class. Now, many professors will be familiar with big simulations that take many hours and days to run. In contrast, the simulations and exercises that support this book are very short in many cases and can actually be run in class in small groups. Larger exercises can be done in seminar rooms 